Certain subjects in iconography have uh, great examples in sculpture and painting or, or murals. Uh, so I, I just want to draw your attention to a painting. It, it's been published before, I believe once, but it is really a stupendous kind of uh, amazing work. Uh, the, the subject is well known. It's Mahakala, uh, Panjernata Mahakala. And there are, of course, there are different forms of Panjernata, but generally they, they all look roughly the same. One face, two arms uh, in a standing posture. The painting here is actually Nepalese. It's Nepalese in style. It was, uh, it was painted in Nepal, most likely the Kathmandu Valley. Um, everything about it is Nepalese. Uh, the, the, the aesthetics are all Nepalese. The color palette is Kathmandu Valley. But what's really amazing here is it really shows the relationship and the closeness between uh, Tsang Tibet or, or, or the, the, the western portion of central Tibet and its close relationship with the Kathmandu Valley and artists uh, that are there. And the reason I say that is because the iconography is Tibetan and it belongs to the Sakya tradition of Tibetan Buddhism. But the painting is, is most likely Newar or Shakya from Kathmandu. So what makes it Sakya? What makes it uh, the Tibetan components of this uh, painting? Well, really, it's the, it's the Mahakala himself is, is in a, a form that's popular in Tibet. Um, but it's the retinue deities. The, the side figures are really a Sakya composition. Um, immediately to the viewer's um, left of, of Mahakala is uh, Bhutta Damara Vajrapani. Uh, immediately to the right side is uh, the female uh, deity Ekajati. At the lower left is a uh, copper knife Mahakala, and at the lower right is a uh, Sri Devi, one face, four arms, riding a, a donkey, and she has all of the Sakya attributes. Now, the Sakya attributes um, are just slightly different than the other most popular Sri Devi. Uh, of, of uh, the Tibetan traditions, which is the Naropa um, um, iconography for, for Sri Devi. Um, and we're talking here about the four-armed Sri Devi, not the uh, what's called the younger sister or the um, one-faced, two-armed Moksor Gyalmo, um, popularized very much by the Gelugpa tradition. Um, this is Sri Devi with forearms. So then surrounding Mahakala, we also have all of these uh, animals. We have uh, black garudas, black dogs, wolves, jackals, ravens, crows. Um, and, and these are all the messengers of Mahakala. The, this is how he keeps in touch with the world, is sending all these messengers everywhere to do his bidding or to acquire information. Uh, slightly to the upper upper left is a one-faced forearm Mahakala, and uh, at the upper right is uh, another form of Panjernata, but with squat legs. The knees are bent, and he's in a squatting posture. Um, immediately surrounding all of this is a thin register above, below, and to the sides, and it has the eight great cemeteries. And once again, uh, the Mahasiddhas that are placed in each of the eight great cemeteries here are following the Sakya formula. Uh, for composition, for, for wrathful deities. Uh, at the very top, we have a register with uh, many different uh, figures. We have Vajrasattva, we have Manjushri, Green Tara, and then we also have the five uh, symbolic or tantric Buddhas. At the bottom uh, center, we have what, what are known as the Pancharaksha. The Pancharaksha are very, very popular in uh, Nepalese, Newar Buddhism. Um, the five goddesses are auspicious goddesses. And then to the left side, we have uh, um, a Vajracharya priest doing a fire puja, a fire uh, a homa, a fire offering ritual. And behind him are the main donors of the painting, the people that commissioned the painting. Likely, it's, it's going to be a father and, and sons or some brothers and uncles. And then on the far right side, we have what appears primarily to be female figures. And these are the, the women of the household, the wives, the, the, the sisters, and the daughters of the, the donor for this uh, painting. And it's a rather large format painting, which also is a bit unusual. Along the bottom, we have uh, 
we have an inscription and the inscription actually gives a date and the date is um, if we can find the date it should be 1543 um, so this is common also with Nepalese paintings that they will often put uh, the name of the donor uh, the special occasion and as to why an artwork is created and then the date so a wonderful painting well worth investigating so you can press uh, the like button you can press the subscribe button you can also join Har on Patreon for slightly longer videos more in-depth videos and you can also make a donation on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources <laughs>